So we've got our story point. Now we need to add an object that can display the text from the story point. So we'll go and find our uh, story point object, our dialog box. We want to go and put this in a layer above everything. So we've got a UI layer. And by the way, UI means user interface. So that's things like buttons and other menu elements that would be above everything else. Maybe you want to make a UI layer. Remember that's just the plus new layer and then you can double click on the layer to rename it. Now uh, this UI layer as you can see is above everything so I'll put my dialog box in the UI layer I'm gonna put it outside of the level just so I know that it's not supposed to be part of the game. Okay now we need to add a script to it so that we can get it to receive the message that the story point is sending. So uh, first of all, we got to think about what we want it to do straight away. Well, we don't really want to be able to see it and we don't want it bumping into things. So we want to go to looks. We want set visibility of myself to false. And we also want to disable the physics. So that's from physics. Down the bottom, set physics enabled false. So it won't be visible and it won't collide with anything. We also want to create a new text field to actually display our text and that's from draw create new text field with text and we don't know what the text value will be yet so we'll just type in something like uh, dialogue text goes here okay we can also set the color and the size of the font so we'll go to draw text we want to set font size make that as big as you want I found 26 looks pretty good uh, you can set the color of it as well font color right there I think white probably looks best, but you can use any color you want. And lastly, we need to set how wide the text field will be. We don't want the text spilling all the way off the edge of the screen. So if we go to draw, uh, grab that set font size block again, but change font size to max width. And we know that the uh, the camera is 960, 960 pixels, so let's do about 900. And we'll also make the text invisible as well. So set visibility of, not myself, but of the new text field, which is saved as a variable. Okay. Now if we go to test this out now, obviously we won't be able to see anything, so there's no point yet we need to make sure that we receive that message that the story point says. So we'll go to events and we want when I receive message with the value because we're sending along a value. Uh, what was the message? Let me just check. So save that. We'll call this dialog box. And now let's have a look at the story point. Okay, it was show dialog. So I'll just copy that. And back in here we want show dialogue. When I receive show dialogue with a value, and that's the actual story message.